When you get someone to your website, because of that, because it's so easy to click back on Google, because it's so easy to go and find a competitor, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to make sure that your site is answering the question that that user wants from your site. Because if you don't, they're going to leave straight away. They reckon with women, women will make a decision within three seconds whether the site is relevant. Guys will make a decision in five seconds. Uh, I don't know the size like that. I don't know. It's, I think ladies are better at sort of multitasking and assimilating information. They're quicker at it. I'd like to do that. I'd like to say that. I'd like to keep like keeping the women in the garden. Uh, rather than say the guys are slow. But that, that's from the research. Okay. But yeah, that gives you three seconds. Three seconds to make someone understand that where they landed is the right place. Okay. And we spend no time, as a business, most of us spend no time looking at that. Trying to understand this is really important. We have to focus more time and effort on usability. When I first came to the country, um, I went to the Hi-Fi Corporation to buy a TV. I went an LCD TV. So I went to the first thing I do, same as a new pad, I go to the website. First place I look, try and get information from the website, see what they've got, then I'll order online or I'll go to the store. I came here to look for an LCD TV. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Where do I go? Is it DVD, gaming, corporate credit? Stores, I don't know where to go. You know, eventually, I um, went to uh, click here to view the car. I actually missed this. I didn't even see this. I thought this was part of the banner. <laughs> you know? I eventually went to click here to view our online catalog. Oh, okay, well, I've messed up my home page, but you know, I can, I can look at that. I got a PDF printout. A PDF printout of their products. This page here. You know, and I had to go through. And then I said, oh, no, okay, they've made the PDF interactive, but they've done. TV LCD, TV LCD 2, TV LCD 3. Which one do I click on? I got annoyed by this point, and I've never set foot in the Hi-Fi Corporation purely because I couldn't use this website. Okay? It was just the user experience was poor. Luckily, they went and changed it a year ago. Oh my god, what did they do? I still can't find, I still can't find my LCD TV. I don't search by brand, I don't go in there looking for Epson or Sony. They as a company think of their order, their product line, as okay, we've got Sony's in now. I deal with Sony because they're a distributor. I deal with um, uh, Sharp because they're a distributor. So they, they build this site based on the structure within their organization. And not the end user who, when I go to Hi-Fi Corporation, I go there for a reason. I want my Hi-Fi, I want a TV, or I want a new Xbox 360. Dave for Christmas. <laughs> um, <laughs> So again, they've not thought about the user, and they've lost people. I would love to know if they've ever sold anything on this website. I really would. Um, Incredible Connection just did a, a similar thing with their, with their site. They just launched their new site two weeks ago, and it was shocking. One, it broke in a load of browsers, so they never went to test it for the user. Okay. The, the secure online payment wasn't secure. <laughs> and so I went, I went in there, and I was ordering stuff with fake credit cards. Hey, so we can't see we get something. No, no one went and tested. No one went to have a look at the usability of that site. Needless to say, we were emailing and letting them know. Do you know what you've just done? And uh, within, within two, they didn't close it down. The first thing I went was shut that site down. They then got back onto their website and they spent two days sorting it out. Unbelievable. Why does it happen? Why does it happen? Without sort of um, giving too much grief to, to the managers and the decision makers in here, but it is, it's this Gordon Gecko geezer, sit here, who goes, oh no, I've looked at the new website design, I don't like that colour, you know, or the company vision, we have to get it on the homepage, because we just had a course about it last week and we want to tell everyone about it, you know. Um, images, we need to make the bigger images bigger, you know, or the price, we've got to give them the price, that's the most important thing. So it's someone making a decision, someone going, yeah, that's what they want, okay, and they've not really thought about the end user, and that's why it happens, that's why this happens. What you need to do is think like a retailer. And you have to think like a retailer. Unfortunately, I was going to take you through an exercise, but we're not going to have, we're not going to have time. So if any of you go on Dave's uh, nomadic marketing course anywhere else, we'll, uh, I'll make sure I have time for that. But if you think about when you, I used to work, um, it really used to be a good step. I used to work for Marks and Spencer's in the UK, so the Woolworth, Woolworth's equivalent. And we spent a lot of time thinking about placement of products in the store. 
And that's what you need to do. You need to think of your website as your web page as an online store. Prime example. I go to Pick and Pay with my wife. Okay, we've gone there to buy some tin tomatoes. She said, why don't I just need to pop Pick and Pay and get some tin tomatoes at the end of the day? But yeah, okay, no problem. We just go quickly in the age. Now, for some reason, unbeknown to me, and maybe God's the only one that knows this, is my wife has to walk up and down every single store, every single aisle, and pick and pack until she gets to the tin tomato. And then we come out with 50 other stuff. I don't understand it. We came for tin tomato. If I go there on my own, I'll walk into the store, I'll look down the aisles, I'll see where it says canned foods. If I can't see that, I grab the closest shop attendant, trolley person, anyone who looks official, it might not even be for being paid. And I say, where's the tin tomato? Take it to the tin tomato. You know, and they take it and I'm out of there. Ten items or less, straight away. If anyone in the queue has more than ten items, I tell them, you've got more than ten items, get out. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I can shop. I want to have that shopping experience. Okay? And you've got to think like that. When people come to your website, you're going to have that person that wants to come in and out straight away. Make sure you've got a keyword search there. It needs to be able to find it. It needs to be clearly named. Okay? You've also got the person that wants to, wants to look around. They come with a particular motivation. And it's important that you must understand what motivation they come with so that you can fulfill that. <laughs>